Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about black sooty mould on cactus. What it is, the causes, prevention and the treatment. And here I have uh, one of my choyas here with the black sooty mould on it, as you can see. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this black sooty mould and what causes it and what you can do. So first of all, what is it? What is black sooty mould? Well, there's an example there. And it's actually a fungus that is completely harmless and it lives off the honey, honey-like sap that certain types of cacti produce from their areoles. It, for example, ferrocactus and also some of the choyas here. And also this, this uh, fungus, this black sooty mould, sometimes forms also when pests like mealybugs, aphids and scale insects and the like tend to attack your plant and they themselves give off a similar sticky-like honeydew substance that also attracts this black sooty mould. So there's two main reasons for this two this, this black sooty mould. One is obviously 100% harmless, as in it's something what the plants naturally secrete, which is here. And the, the second one is from pest damage, which is harmful. Not the mould itself, as, as I say, it's the pests themselves. I'm going to talk about that now. Now, first of all, I'm going to talk about the extra, you know, what, what, are the, what is this black sooty mould and what the two different types where it can come from here not two different the mold is the same but the two different causes first of all is from the extra extra floral nectarine nectaries that are from the areoles here and um, this is what's happening with my choya i'm going to show you my ferrocactus because it's a lot more easier to explain what exactly is an extra floral nectary and um, also what an areole is in case you want to know this is my a few of my ferro cacti here and quite a few of them have this black sooty mold coming out of the areoles and areoles are the little pin cushions where the spines um, emerge from as you can see this is a good example here the big pin cushions with all the big spines coming out of and also areoles is where new shoots and flowers emerge from and these areoles here, as you can see, a lot of them are black, covered in the black sooty mould, completely harmless. And this is an example of uh, one of the cacti, like ferro cacti, which is the most common at producing this black sooty mould. Um, it's completely harmless and might not look the most aesthetically pleasing, but it is harmless. And it's something that does happen, you know, they do secrete this sticky honey-like uh, substance naturally in their habitats and extra floral nectaries are nectar secreting plant glands that the plants the cacti produce to attract ants and other beneficial insects to the plant and the reason why they do this is that these beneficial insects that are attracted to this uh, honeydew like substance that the extra floral nectaries from their areoles produce it's supposed to help as a natural defense against herbivorous animals like little rodents and things like that in the, in their habitats that would normally attack the plants so it's a bit of a defense that these plants produce I'm not an expert on extra floral nectaries, so uh, I can't help any more than that. But that is why these, these plants produce them. And uh, as I say, completely harmless in this case. And again, I'm just going to show you back up to my, uh, my choyas here that also have these extra nectary glands as well, extra floral nectaries. And this is what's happening here. So that's the completely harmless, harmless reason why they've got it. And this is quite common on cacti. And the second reason, and this is obviously a lot more of a serious harmful reason, is when they actually have pests. Now, things like mealybug is the worst, scale insects, aphids, thrips, they all produce a very similar honey-like substance and they have this all over the plant and this sticky substance attracts the black sooty mold and that encourages this black sooty mold to grow so although in this case as well the black sooty mold is completely harmless the pests are not so if you notice that your cacti or your succulents or any plants it can happen on house plants have this black sooty mold and you know pretty sure it's not coming from one of their areoles then 
double check for pests especially under the leaves and under the sides that you can't see because when you have black sooty mold in this case it's nearly always caused from pests and then you have to treat the pests which I'm going to talk about in a minute but that's when it can be harmful although the mold itself isn't harmful so that's the two main reasons the other reason is sometimes down to high humidity as I say here I have a polytunnel I grow a selection of cacti. I'm here in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, which is very damp. We're having some amazing, very warm weather at the moment, so it's been fantastic. But normally sort of wet in here, and when the sun comes out, it does create a lot of humidity. It's not uncommon for some of my cacti to come down with this black sooty mould, and I just wipe it off, uh, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, and it is completely harmless. But I find that it, it can sometimes be down to the humidity, but nearly always the two main causes are down to the natural um, secretions that some cacti like ferro cacti for example and the choyas here produce from their areoles and um, that's pretty harmless so that's the, the two main reasons here now cacti growing in more arid climates especially in their natural habitats are less likely to attract this mold on their areoles and this is because the dry air and the air movement in places like the desert and other, other places where these cacti would normally grow in their natural habitats um, encourages, discourages this, this harmless mould to form. And obviously in the desert, even when it's very dry, they do have, when it rains, they often have heavy rain. And this is a great way to flush off any of the, um, the harmless mould that forms. As I say, air vent, plenty of air circulation often prevents it, but it's a completely natural thing to, to have, so harmless in that way. So then, now you know a little bit about this black sooty mould and the two main reasons for it, how do you treat it? Well, obviously, if you've got pests on your plants, you have to treat that. And the first thing you need to do first is to remove any physical pests you can see and this can be difficult because they can hide in places that you cannot see some pests are very very small so you need to get a magnifying glass sit down with your plant or plants and take it off what i like to use to physically remove pests first before i treat them is rubbing alcohol in this case i use isopropyl alcohol and 100 um, percent i put a little bit into a dish get one of these little brushes here and then dab off any physical pests i can see and that's how I treat it first and then what I would do then is treat the whole plant with um, organic neem oil and I mix this then with a mixture of horticultural liquid soap into a spray bottle and I thoroughly spray the whole plant this is not only good for pests but it's also good for preventing the the black sooty mold from coming back again and if you want to know how to make and use this, um, how to mix up, I should say, and use this organic neem oil, then links up above to a video and down below in the video description on how to treat pests with, or with neem oil. And I, I explain there all about the measurements and how to use it to keep pests at bay. It's very, very good. Harmless to humans, harmless to plants and harmless to animals and children too. So it's very, very good. Good organic method. And you do have to keep repeating it the first time you use it every few days. But once it's got into the plant system, it's very, very good. So obviously, once you've treated the bugs, then you want to know how to, how to get rid of the mould. And again, I like to use... Isopropyl alcohol is brilliant. I, I think it's just a really good all-rounder. And I use even one of these little brushes here. A little tiny sort of like a little mascara brush or a little pipe cleaner because that's really good for giving a bit of pressure, gentle pressure to rub off the black mould. And also a firm little brush here as well. This is what I use to, to clean my camera with, but these brushes are great. You can also use a little small child's toothbrush as well, as long as it's not too hard, but firm enough to get and scrape off the mould. And then I put a little bit of this alcohol into a little bowl, dip these in, and then what I do then, just show you. And this other plant here, there's a little bit of it left. This was covered in this black sooty mould as well, and I removed that first with the alcohol. And I was going to do this one, I thought, no, I won't, because it's a great opportunity to make a video and talk about this. So what I would do, and going to be doing after this video, is then just wiping that off with the alcohol. And it comes off pretty easy. Black sooty mould is only on the surface, so that comes off. And it's the same as well with ferrocactus, with the spines as well 
can be doing the same thing here. In this case, I'm just going to leave the ferrocacti because it's natural and I don't mind how it looks. I think it's natural, harmless entirely. But if you're a bit of a clean freak and like your plants looking perfect, do the same thing here. You can just use the, the alcohol on there to rub it off. And again, the alcohol is harmless, so it's not gonna hurt, hurt your plants at all. Now, another way you can also use is also with the some gentle soap. In a dish, you can put a bit of warm water with a squirt of very mild soap. I like to use a horticultural gentle liquid soap. This is the one I actually use, which I mix with my neem oil. But you can just use this on its own as well. And that's great for cleaning plants. Um, good for even a little bit in some warm soapy water for cleaning house plant leaves as well. It brings a lovely shine to them. But this is great. A little bit of warm water as well with a little brush, such as these here or a little child's toothbrush as well, and then just gently scraping off, off the black sooty mould, and that comes off. Now, how to prevent it? Well, obviously it's a natural, if, if you've got pests, and that's why you've got the black sooty mould, you need to prevent the pests. Once you've treated the pests, and you keep them at bay, then the, the mould shouldn't return. And if it does, keep a lookout for future pests. But with things like ferro cacti, and the troyas, and other type of cacti that produce, that have these, um, extra floral nectaries that produce this sticky sap that, that encourages the black sooty mould. Although it's natural, if you want to clean it again and you want to prevent it from coming back, then you can use neem oil sprayed over the plant probably about once a month just to prevent, to prevent it from coming back. And that's really all you need to do, guys. So that's a little bit about this black sooty mould, what it is, the causes, the treatment and how to prevent it. And I hope you found that video useful, guys. And thank you all so much for watching. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell. Ding, ding. And if you want to know more on how to grow cacti and succulents, including lots of care tips, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus from across the Emerald Isle. Until the next video, bye. And just to finish off on a beautiful note, look at this Matucana Madisonorum cactus in triple blue.